Okay, I'm starting the recording. We have uh, five minutes while the potatoes are boiling. And <laughs> Sabrina asked us to um, to tell, talk about uh, to introduce the aliens' personalities again. Um, I guess Takur is the most. I'll just start from Takur. Takur is a Lyran female, very tall, hairy, but very feminine. But um, and very, very smart. She's like the administrator, secretary, gatherer of facts for the spaceship that is going around the North American continent. And she has a lot of responsibility. And she also has a hand in the colonies as well. I think more uh, writing down the facts that they've learned and things of that nature, but she knows a lot about the colonies. How tall is she? Um, I think she approaches about nine feet. Uh-huh. What dimension is she? She's right now in the fourth dimension. So they all is in the fourth dimension. Yeah, Can right. they go full third dimension? Yes, uh -huh. they can, yes. Um, I'm pretty sure that most species started in the third dimension. Uh -huh. So what race is she? She's Lyran. Talk about Lyrans. Lyrans are the original, one of the original races in the, that we know about because they had their own Garden of Eden kind of thing on their planet and um, their planet was originally destroyed eventually by reptilians who were jealous of the fact that they had a Garden of Eden and God wasn't treating them fairly. So. So they had a war about that. And um, now the Lyrans are all through the universe or that we know of mm -hmm. and um, are very well respected and their story, their legacy uh, lives on and, and it makes them a very noble people They're among the other races. Uh -huh. So... Uh, um, once I was asked... Uh, who of the aliens, I asked Lakesh, who of the aliens I would, uh, I could hug. And he said, Lirans would mind hugging, but you have to warn them not to crush you when they hug you. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, they're big. So, but, and then there's Dizdu, who's the commander. He's a Yayil. He's the uh, go-between between the Arcturians and the, uh, the spaceship uh -huh. around the continent. And he, uh, has many ideas and he's the one that presented all of Max's ideas to the Arcturians and many of them were supported eventually and that was a really good thing because that's how the colonies got started yes. and how many colonies got started because they were going to do one and Max suggested to do more and diversity and all that sort of thing and um, Voila, they're learning a lot from especially Colony 1 and 3, which is, one is where the, uh, the, uh, what are they called? The telepaths. telepaths are, and 3 is where all the videos are being made, or videos are being collected, I should say. They're not all being made there, but they're being made all over the place, but they're being collected there to be viewed by other colonies to see if how effective they are and also by other aliens to see how effective they are and if they match all the protocols that they're supposed to match and uh, give the message that the galaxy wants to give. How tall is this dude? These dude is not real tall. I'm not sure how tall he is. Probably five something. Five uh, something. Close to six. Yeah, close to six foot. But he's not quite six foot. No, it's all according to what they say. Right. And um, and then there's Tepe, uh -huh. who is a, a Pleiadian. And he is more of the doctor type. I think he's more on uh, science, but he's also a... Uh, Climate expert. Yeah, he's a climate expert. When I spoke also. to him. He speaks climate. His most inter his most focus of thinking of consciousness is about climate. Yes, and he's about seven feet tall, so he's pretty tall. 
And um, he's actually, I don't think he's ever been on camera. Has he? He might have. But he has spoken on them a few times, maybe two, three, he four does, times. He goes, he has a go-between between, between um, to Kerr a lot of times, and um, he doesn't really talk all that much. So I'm not sure. I know that he's very intelligent, very friendly, nice, uh, very calm person. The first time we met him, though, he was angry, I think. He was upset, not yeah, angry. I, not angry, upset, you're right. But um, since he was then, upset with human politicians. Yes, with human politicians. And I said, why are you upset? Don't you know the law of, law of attraction? And he said, oh, it doesn't apply to us. I know it's, it's but you know, we accept it. Exceptional, excluded, that mm -hmm. sort of thing. Mm -hmm. So he was very interesting. So, um, so mostly we speak with. Uh, and initially we spoke a lot with this dude, and uh, now we speak with Lakesh and uh, Takar. Mm -hmm. So Lakesh is the next one, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, he's a blue. He speaks from his planet, um, and he comes to us directly, and he actually comes into my body and. A different way than anybody else does he more or less comes into my body and his arms reach out to about here and his legs come down to about here but he's able to stretch out in the body eventually spiritually so he can move my fingers and things of that very nature but he's a very uh, hands-on kind of guy <laughs> And he's a very friendly and personable person. A lot of people love Lakesh's energy. He's a blue, and he's short, 5.1 or 2, and he has four, a thumb and three fingers, and a big toe and three toes. And he glides instead of walks. It's his, uh, he has privileges that other people don't, other aliens on his planet don't, so he can, is allowed to glide. He doesn't have to if he doesn't want to. It's something that he just enjoys doing, I guess. And he has a couple significant others, and he just had a granddaughter. Two? He has at least two, yeah. Oh, I didn't know. Yeah, he has a few significant others, I think more than two. Oh. But um, on our planet, that's not a problem. And uh, privacy is not an, a problem in their on their planet either. They're very not private. They just blur. They're very candid, and they say many things that we would find objection objectionable. But uh, no. but some people would. Oh, well, some people. But um, they're very very uh, blunt. But. Very, but they mean it in a very good way. So it's not like they're being nasty. It's just that they're being right to the point. So, and he is, uh, he has many fans, I think. <laughs> yeah, he's he, a nice guy. He has uh, blue, I think blue blood, maybe because they have copper in the blood. I think he's commented about some of that. Yes. Uh, also, there. Atmosphere is very different, although they have snow and rain, but you know, they're They're chemically very different from somewhat different from us. Mm -hmm. Although they're also humanoids um, And related somehow to us, but uh, chemically they're quite different. Their skin is translucent So not very far, but you can see the veins and the art, you know, the, the blood blue blood vessels and maybe some of the bones So they kind of not like jellyfish, but you know in between the jellyfish and, and humans quite translucent uh, and you don't have uh, distinguish them from blue Pleiadian other Pleiadians, they had tall blue Pleiadians and short blue Pleiadians. So Lakesh is the blue, short, and they're kind of quite different from humans. But tall blue Pleiadians are very close to us. They're kind of seven, eight feet tall, and uh, they're very much related. They just have the color of the skin different. The tall Pleiadians look pretty much like uh, the ones in Avatar. Yes. In some ways. In some ways, very much. Yes, Although they're not, uh, they're not cat, cat like. They're just uh, tall and skinny, and uh, and live in trees. That that's the the connection. But just like in Avatar, they some of them do have gold spots on their oh, skin. They know. Yes. They know. How do they, how do you know? Um, I was told that by one of our uh, the people that I channel with. Uh -huh. He said that his 
blue Pleiadian is from the same area that Lakesh is from, and that was, uh, her name is Georgiana, uh, and she has yellow flecks on her skin, or gold flecks, just like in Avatar, and, um, so, uh, and, we should, uh, we should Lakesh start actually the, confirmed that. We should start the North fashion. Yeah. <laughs> Color face blue and put gold speckles. Yes. So she does have gold speckles, but, uh, Yes, Lakesh confirmed that with Jesse. Yes, Jesse. I'll tell how I met uh, first meetings with uh, with these guys. Uh, I guess first one was with this dude, and it was very short. Uh, and he pronounced his name this Jakobo this Duda, and I couldn't get it. So he shortened it to this dude. I still couldn't get it. And I said, "Can you give us just a number?" I thought he could give us a number, and it would be just fine, like number three or something. But he said. Uh, what did he say? These do. These do. These is ten, and do is uh, there uh, either two or twelve in French. Yeah, so he gave, gave us like ten and twelve, and uh, you know, in French would be like, and we said, okay, okay, and we speak to him for for a short while, and then we say he gave. So what's your name? <laughs> so he, he was probably thinking that we are completely um, unable to memorize things, yes. and which is close to close to truth so <laughs> so this dude was say, said he was monitoring me and communicating with me and be around me for about 12 years now um, then uh, there were other people around who introduced themselves there were a home there was someone else who I forgot sorry and there was at one second or third session there was Kerr and she just arrived, mm -hmm. just arrived, and Jim introduced her as someone who has something like a hoof or hoofs on the head and uh, looked like lioness, and the hoofs apparently were some technical devices, so I don't think she has them anymore, but, but um, at that time she didn't speak, she was uh, not ready to speak, she didn't want to speak, but... <clears throat> Uh, she said only a few words at that time, but it was the time I think when she decided, you know, when, right at that moment when we were speaking, she decided to, she was kind of a visitor, visiting scientist or visiting administrator or exchange student, more like an administrator, and she decided to join the project right during that session, and here she is. Yes. Uh, half a year later, actually eight months later, she's still with the project being uh, speaking to us most often, Lakesh and, and Takur is now speaking uh, most often with us. And then there's other characters. <laughs> uh, there's um, Sun, who's a fairy. She is a fairy. And we talked to her once, I yeah, think. Yeah, her name is Sun. I think, I don't know, is, she, is it a real name? or I guess it would be a translation. It would be a translation, I would imagine, or something that she wants to be known as to yeah, us. Maybe she, it's an easy name yeah, something that she wants us to easy for us to remember. Mm -hmm. So she called herself Sun, and she was delightful. And she actually came again and wanted to speak, but we didn't speak. No, again. she was in the room, but she did not speak. So, so we invite her to come again and read us poetry and prayers and uh, mm -hmm. just chat. You know, she was wonderful. We got lots of hits because of her. Lots yes. of video hits. Yes. And then there's C Cent. What is her Centia. name? Centia. 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 Yeah, it's Centia. Yeah, Centia. She's from Sirius. Centia. Yeah. Yes, Sintira. Sintia. Sintia, right. Mm -hmm. um, she's from Sirius, and she's a very soft-spoken kind of uh -huh. entity with lots of wisdom, and they speak very generally about things, and they're not real specific about a lot of well, stuff. Well, they specific questions to answer to a specific question. All right. And they're very much humanoid. They, I think the closest would be Indians, but uh, Hindu Indians, but I'm not sure. There is a recording where she answered all the questions. Okay, and she's very, very sweet, and um, she's come a few times, I think. Yeah. A few times, and I'm sure she'll be coming again. She had said one time she was designated for us, so. Uh huh. From, from Sirius, yes. Yes, so that Without we will. Specifically, Gemini. Yes, so that was a wonderful thing. I thought that was really cool, and um, let's see, Pentim. 
Yes, he came He's a Yu Gil. Mm -hmm. He actually came a few times at sessions, uh, and he's very he's very friendly and knowledgeable, and helps those people who wanted to talk to a Yu Gil when Dee's Do was really busy. It was Pen Tim that came, so, and he was. And we have another Yael, which is fish, fishing. He yes. really speaks to the public, but he speaks to us. He works as a secretary and guardian for us, not to allow any bad guys through. Oh, <laughs> my phone is ringing. And uh, somebody said, maybe this dude said that fishing is very interesting mm -hmm. and very unusual and uh, respected in many ways. Very good. Unusual in many ways and respected. Cool. Um, yes. Yael look like. They hybrid between human and grays and look like grays, but they are very have a lot of human Earth human DNA. So right. we are cross. They look cross a little like the ET, like on uh, ET phone home, but the movie ET. They look a little like that, ah. but oh, not know. a lot. I mean, there's some similarities. So. Uh, Lakesh was introduced to us at maybe third session. He came through and he had a lot of trouble with uh, Girk Fitnier, with the Yale guys and Tucker because they wanted him to behave and he, they wanted him to uh, keep the information <laughs> private. And he was like, a, how do you, what's that word? Like a person who doesn't follow the rules. Rebellious a little. Rebellious. Although he's uh, not very brave. He's rebellious without being brave, that combination. He's like, uh, to me, he looks like uh, a person on the market, the salesman on the market. <laughs> he would be like, not very brave, but very forward going. <laughs> yes, he's gregarious, but yeah. not uh, not brave, right? He, But yet he has said things that he got in trouble for and and then he came back and told us he got in trouble for them. <laughs> yeah, so. but now he and sometimes they, they just turn him off. I yeah, mean, they turn him off when he starts saying things that if they think he's going to go there where they told him not to go, they'll just cut him off. Disconnect, yeah. Yeah, it'll be an instant disconnect, and and we won't know what he was going to yeah, say. Yeah, yell is uh, eye in control of the communications. I think uh, Lakesh uses some of their communication lines to get to us. Well, well, one one thing Lakesh mentioned was. He can switch on his device, communication device, he can switch his character. So he has an interpretation device, he speaks and, you know, and it's like translation device, but also he can switch his character from gregarious, you know, uh, jovial to serious. And yeah. you can notice that sometimes he's very serious. Yeah, sometimes he can get very, whatever mood he's in, He, I think he sets his <laughs> dials to that because he's not always the same. But yet he is always the same. But you can you can tell it's Lakesh. It's just that he's doing a different character. It's very interesting. It's very uh, unusual. I, but aliens are human too, I guess. <laughs> well, Lakesh can be upset. <laughs> yes. Uh, Tape can be upset. This dude was upset a few times, but it, he had real reasons. He was undergo undergoing. Uh, he was under pressure from Arcturians to to do certain things and he had to make the decision fast so he came to me for advice and, and because it was related to earth so he wanted some advice uh, but uh, Takesh is always keeping her how do you call it? integrity she is yes. very strong and she's always the same yes Takur is always the same when uh, no she there. would be different but she would yeah. always like work you know as, as a lion person she would yeah. always uh, yes. stand on the position of honor and never lose her temper right sometimes she would lose the word she would take a deep breath and start again from the position of force. She would never lose the temper or be, you know, distracted or something. Right. And it's very respectable. Yes. She is very respected. Yes. Um, a lot of people really like her a lot too. They ask for her during the sessions a lot. Her and Lakesh are the two most popular, and um, usually the ones that come. And there have been reptilians that came and. 
Tim yes, Allen. some reptilians were, were pretty good. Today we got a reptilian which read pretty nice poem, so I thank him and it was a good visit. Mm -hmm. uh, there were a few other visitors, like a hum John Lennon visited us once, thanks to him, and it was a I, I, I posted actually the, the conversation on YouTube, look it up, it's on one of the videos. Uh, there was a politician, I forgot his name, but he George was Wallace. George Wallace, and he was authentic, and it makes, watch it, uh, it it's, it's pretty educational. Um, ancient God L, group spirit, group consciousness, uh, visited us, there was another consciousness, um, human spirits that raised up, I forgot what was that. But there was another group consciousness who spoke to us. Mm -hmm. uh, Angel Gahil, mm -hmm. very respected, come again. Yes, uh, and Angel Gahil, he comes very short, very quick and short. Not necessarily, some, some visits he was... Always the first like visit of Gahil, I don't think I published it, I don't remember. I think it's still unpublished, I need to publish it. Okay. First visit of Gahil was very interesting because I... He didn't mind me asking about their physiology. I asked him if they lay eggs oh, by some reason. Yeah. He said, you know, we are more like, I, I, we're not exactly humans, we're more like birds. So I asked him, oh, do you guys lay eggs? And he said, no, we don't. But uh, so, so look, look it up. It's um, either published or I will publish that. It, it was interesting. And Buddha, Jesus and Muhammad. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. I don't know what to say about them except uh, that they were. I need to introduce them. They, except they are spirits, and I read that Jesus has incarnated for the full life many times more, like hundreds of times. And part time he could appear, do something, and disappear. He can mm -hmm. materialize in the physical body at will, and he does that. So sometimes he would come at, as other person, and he would even not know that he is a Jesus. But he has a lot of involvement in our planet and apparently in ascension of lots of other planets during the history. So that's yes. that's his uh, vocation. Vocation, exactly. Yes. He's yes. known in the galaxy for helping others to, uh, the civilization to go from third to fourth dimension. That's right. his yes. vocation. One of those things, yes. Who oh, else yeah. is there? I can't even think. I think we, our food is I ready. Think, I think that was pretty much it. There's a few others, but they were minor characters. Uh, major characters, if you... I'm, I'm sure we missed one or, one or two major characters, but uh, we apologize, we need to go eat. But next time we will continue. <laughs> and we accept your donations, the gym takes... Um, now, these days, we don't have that as many requests for personal sessions. Call, email, Skype gym, and he will schedule a personal session. What's your rate right now? It's forty dollars a half hour. Let's give a discount. Thirty-eight. <laughs> <laughs> thirty-five. Yeah, thirty-five dollars for the time is he is not fully low. Thirty-five dollars for half. Is it good? Thirty-five. Um, sure. Yeah, thirty-five. I think some business would would help. So thirty-five for half hour for next how long? Rush, let's give him five days. <laughs> no, I know. Give him a couple weeks. Couple weeks. Are you sure? Why? You will be overloaded with orders. You, you couldn't think? provide enough. You think? All right. Um, okay. What is I'll today? Be, today is but I want to Friday ne till next I, Friday. And then I, we'll I announce our discount. I should give a discount to those people that already generated. Yes. You should. should I should send money back. No, no <laughs> money back. No. <laughs> money back guarantee. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. We should cut it out or let, let's be serious. So. Till next Friday, you got $35, and regular customers should get some discount. Right. Right. Uh, but, you know, you, you guys, you, in regular customers, you can do it personal, personal discounts. Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, we got to go eat. And uh, for Saturday, for tomorrow, we have a session, but apparently we have more than 10 people. So, people, who, if you just want to listen, you don't have to register and go in and be there. You can, there will be a link to listen if, if the whole thing works. So, I am um, invite most people who, mostly invite the people who speak galactic languages. This is the major topic these days. So, people who can speak galactic languages, comprehend them, are would be the first ones to invite, to, be, to, to get into the video. Unfortunately, I can't control I, I will try to control, but I can't control who comes and who, who doesn't, so I'm not sure how it will work. 
So I'm looking forward for tomorrow's sessions and uh, session Saturday, and um, Saturday. Saturday 10 a.m. New York time. Uh, have a good day. Right. Bye bye. Oh yes. Bye. <laughs> ah. Bye.